Good morning, Councilman Grove. Good morning, Councilman Salters. And good, good morning, morning Vincennes. I think we're a little off on that, but that's okay. We are on location, just finished up another cleanup. We had a good summer of this, 10 weeks of council cleanups. Nice. City's a little bit cleaner, a lot of trash loads, truck loads of trash, trash loads of truck? Uh, yeah, truck loads truck of trash. Loads of trash. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we had fun doing it this summer and we're going to kind of transition that as we move forward to anytime there's a big event. You'll see us kind of go out with school kind of kicking up. Everybody's gotten busy and there are events every weekend. So uh, we will let you know when we're out and about cleaning up so you can come with us and be a part of that. We've really had a good time doing that. We have and you know the biggest thing is I, ho I hope it sparks interest. A lot of people saw us out picking up and immediately they would start picking up. So it doesn't take very long. Just pick up your neighborhood. Help yeah. your neighbors out. Keep keep the uh, city clean. Yep. Other than that, we had a great, fantastic weekend. Uh, watermelon Festival, obviously a huge hit. One of the big huge things that we do here yeah. locally. Um, can't thank the vendors enough. Can't thank the cham chamber enough. Really big turnout, and that's what you want to see. Love those outdoor events, and those are the things that we're going to keep pushing because we know outdoors is the best place to be place right to now. Be, yes. Now, I mean, I love being there. I mean, you've got a big event that you always do on Mondays. It's outdoors. It's fantastic. Work? Uh, work. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> uh, other than that, I guess the biggest news in town would be uh, last week the VCSC got into school and now all of our other county schools are there. School's back in session. School's back. Yeah, let's learn something. Yeah, <laughs> we're learning a lot. We're having fun. Uh, things are going very well in our schools. Best thing about it with kids being in schools and just getting that routine, uh, getting to be with their friends, their teachers, all those activities, whether it be sports, uh, you know, anything academically afterwards. I love being able to see the kids out there and to see the kind of the smiling faces and them being in the classroom with their friends. I know my kids were super excited to be back in their classroom with their friends yeah. after having to spend a summer uh, with me doing who knows what. Yeah, can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of the focus that we've seen right now in the community. There's still a lot of events that are going to be coming up. Um, obviously, it's going to be hot for a little bit. It's August. People forget August still is quite warm yep. um, and then we'll start kicking into fall activities and we've got a whole list of fall activities uh, to go with but if you've got something that you want to share with us whether it be something of good news uh, an event that you want us to talk about anything just let us know or any subject of that matter I mean there's a lot of great things that are happening I, I sat in on a tourism meeting of possible projects you sat on a different housing meeting there's a lot of interest in Knox County in the city of Vincennes and we're just going to keep promoting. Yeah, a lot of good things coming our way. Uh, a lot of things in the works. You know, it, it's a lot of good things happening. And that's the great thing about it. Like right now we're in the idea phase with a lot of this stuff. So if you've got an idea, um, housing, promotion, any kind of quality of life improvement, because I know that we've hit on that real hard, yep. please reach out to us. Also, and I forgot to completely tell you this, so I'm going to catch them off yeah, guard like yeah, I typically do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the Fix It Vincent site is, is up and ready to go. So we're going to put that on our pages and send that out to you. Um, it'll be pinned at the top of the Vincent City Council Facebook page, but then shared out on all of our social media feeds. Really pretty simplistic. You see an issue that needs some maintenance. Uh, you fill it out, boom, boom, tell us where it's at. It sends an email to all of us so then we can get it to the right uh, department for that to be able to be fixed. Yeah, I think so, that's going to be a huge success. I yeah, really do. yeah, and it's just and the key thing is we've got a big city. Like, I, there's a lot of things out there, a lot of things that need to be taken care of. And while we're out in the community a lot, we still might miss something. So if you see something, let us know about it so we can get that taken care of. Now it brings us to the probably the best segment of any video ever, and that is the food truck food review. Now I'm uh, going to give you yeah. a wild guess. Something that I had. It was. A cold beverage of Mountain diet, Mountain, diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Of course. Uh, I need to be yeah. cutting back on that. I'm not supposed to be having as much caffeine. I got scolded by my heart doctor about that. <laughs> so I'm working. I'm trying to be better. You can hold me accountable. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so what is the food truck food review? Uh, grub on the go. I don't think I've reviewed anything. Well, I did their tender iron back. Yes, uh, you did. A it was a while ago. ago. But uh, they had a catfish dinner that is to die for. Very to die for. Could not could not finish this thing. It was huge pieces of catfish. Um, it, it, I mean, it's delicious. Well, yeah, a big true, true big shout out. Big yeah. big shout out. True catfish. The yeah. fake catfish. Well, yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hey, if you've got a chance out there, we. Councilman Grove still got months of fun activities planned with the food trucks. We're going through October, so yeah. that's that's the plan anyway. Yeah. And lots of lots of food trucks coming. We got new food trucks. After three years of get it, trying to get uh, two farmers burgers, they're going to be here tonight. So 
if you want a hamburger, that's, it's um, yeah, two two farms hamburgers and beignets. I think is the yeah thing the they, burger just in the picture look makes your mouth water. It's pretty it, impressive. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty and impressive. They brand crowd, so you might want to get there early. Yeah. So, so and that's a nice thing because the food trucks you've been brought in a lot of people this year. Yeah. There's yeah. been a lot of different trucks, and like I said. To me, it's more than just the food trucks. It's the community aspect, yeah. and that's we getting to be together. Yeah, I bet last week we had probably close to 3,000 people down there. It was absolutely no, you, insane. You, Perfect you, weather. we we got to give it to Mother Nature. She she helped us out last week. Cause now, you did send was, some pictures. Yeah, it was pretty packed. It, it was pretty it awesome. It was incredible. Pretty awesome. So, uh, other than that, we've got a city council meeting tonight. Uh, big thing on the agenda is a voluntary annexation. I think we call it super voluntary super because voluntary. Everybody. everybody everybody's in with this. Yeah. Uh, so we're really excited about that because that sets the stage for possible development in that area and that's what we're looking forward to. Yes. Other than that, if you've got an issue that you see in the city that we need to know about, reach out to us anytime. Uh, my number is 812-890-0094 and... 812-881-5048. Right. I almost gave my wife's, na wife's number. She would have liked that. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I would have been a big fan of that one because I would have... <laughs> that would have been good. That would have yeah. been good. So other than that, we will see you next Monday. See ya. Have a good one.